29th, 9.15 in the morning, and it's 67 degrees in Lemon Grove, San Diego, California. This is the kind of weather I like. It is cool, it is overcast, it is May gray, and we got a noisy mockingbird on top of the pointy tree, Italian cypress. Longly called pointy tree. And the uh, leek blossom is starting to open. But the onion blossom is doing beautifully. Hopefully, it's going to have seeds setting. Now when that one starts to open, I'll add that one to salads and tacos and other things. Whatever you eat onions on. But they're pretty on salads. Violets and candy tuff. These were supposed to be lavender or purple. Nope. That's the way it goes. Still haven't cut all the mint back and dried it. What I do is I add lavender, bay leaves, sage to the mint leaves, calendula leaves or petals, and put them in the chicken nesting boxes. It deters lice and mites and other things. Oh, tomato down. Comfrey hasn't started sprouting yet. What's wrong, Ginger? Is that Calico Cat here back here again? Strawberries. And another female is opening. Ooh, she's going to be a good one. A good sized one. Meals, meals, meals. Grapevine. That's now chicken feed. All the years I was growing it, I never got a decent grape off of it. I don't know where my strawberries keep going to. They disappear. Ooh, but there's a pretty good looking one. You're getting there. Oh, this one needs to be picked. Definitely needs to be picked. Bunch of onions. I had these stuck in the corner where the artichoke is now for two years. I thought they were all dead. This last fall they started sprouting again. So, okay, I thought you died out. Speaking of artichoke, it's doing much better than the other ones. Ooh, broad beans. Oh, look, there's a little bean. Looks like it's kind of distorted. I don't know, I've never grown those things before. I was told you could cook them as green beans. But does that mean you pick them when they're real tiny and not starting to fill out and cook them? Or can you cook them as a green bean when they've plumped up nicely? Cherry tomatoes, I don't know where they all disappeared to. No, <laughs> I really do. Need the water. Dry as a bone all the way down. I didn't get out in water last night. Pulled out a lot of the, cut back a lot of the nasturtiums. Chop and drop. Waiting for these to get to be, oh, these aren't going to get to be any bigger. little tough. So daikon radish, where's that icicle? I think that was the daikon. Radish seed pods are not palatable. They don't taste so good when they're green pods. Oh, my one carrot fell over. What happened? Something ate the top off my one carrot. My one miserable carrot. That's definitely grass. So no carrots now. Butterfly weed. Sounds like big ginger, ginger big yellow feet is getting into trouble. Ginger, what are you doing? Let's see. Can we eat Swiss chard seeds? They don't even want to come off when they're green. No, not good. Those radishes are taking forever. I don't think I'm going to get any. Look at that. And these were the purple radishes. They're complete. No. These radishes. None of them are going to make it. Give up. Oh, I would say a couple more days. Then I'll be eating kohlrabi. And I was asked, do I cook my kohlrabi? No, I prefer eating it raw. I eat most things raw. I just slice it paper thin and eat it with or without dip. Just crunch on it. My only decent garlic. 
calendula the oh, calendula petals. Put them in the nesting boxes. My parsley, parsnip rooted parsley. These are the belladonna, her naked ladies. And I know what you are. I will let you grow. This is feverfew. Oh, morning glories. Still no sign of the flutterby. But the violas are doing nicely. Dropping all kinds of seeds. And I have to be careful when I start pulling weeds that I don't pull them up. But transplant them. How's my tomatoes doing? There's a couple. This is the better boy. You know you need sun to get decent vegetables. I get the heat getting a little more sun since that's been taken down. Not quite ripe enough yet. I like them darker red. And they're nice and firm and juicy. I didn't get a whole lot at one time this year. Well this is their first year also so these were the runners that came from the mother plant. And I have an escapee. I have a horseradish that's out of the box. Highly invasive critter. You just keep digging it up when you find it elsewhere. When it grows where you don't want it, you dig it up. Mexican black radishes. At least those are doing something. Celery. Lots and lots of celery seed this year. And that is not bugs. That is the petals from the tiny little flowers on the celery. But I do have two San Marano's. I think that's what they are. But I see a couple more blossoms. The problems with tomatoes is they don't set fruit if it's under 65 or over 85. And we've had a lot of days pushing 85 and more when they're in full bloom. Now these are the tomatoes. Oh my, have you grown? I just noticed that. Those are the ones that were in the hothouse growing in the pony packs. And I just stuck the whole pony pack with all the seeds in each pot. Ah, oh, my giant marigolds. Look at these, Sir Cracker. Thank you so much. And there's the other ones that I neglected. I just skimmed over. Another broad bean. I just might have a meal. Pansy, not happy. But coleus is starting to come on. There's a little tiny broad bean. I wonder if this one's big enough to taste. I think so. But I'm going to have to cut it off. With my luck, I'll pull the whole plant out of the ground if I tried pulling it. Zenith. Lemon marigolds. Oh. Oh, who's going to say I have a ripe tomato, but it's got a hole in it. Something's already tasted it. Oh, well. Need to cut the yellow leaves off. There's more tomatoes up there. Oh, they're getting ready to go over the fence. I've got to pull them back so grumpy neighbor doesn't kill them. Now, did you set? Did you set? You look like you're going to have little seed pods. Oh, good. Oh, they're so good in onion bread. Grind them up a little. Add them to onion bread. The radish seed pods. They have a slight radish flavor. They're sweet and juicy. And no heat. Yeah, little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of heat. Looks like I can start making salads. First will be tacos. Only need one leaf per taco shell. And salvia. I have seen the baby hummingbird because she stays close. Or she lets me get close. But she really likes this. But I've only seen one of them. I wonder if that's the one that I was always petting. And... Oh, there's a little petty pan. Yeah, there's all those little turnips. They're not doing great, but they're there. You're much happier now that you're in a pot without other, the other 24 sisters and brothers. Catnip. Thank you for watching.
Well, I have a new visitor, and it's only 8 o'clock. Guess who is looking for mice and rats? My little calico kitty. Not my calico, but she's been in the neighborhood for quite a while. And she's been visiting for the last four, three, four nights. So hopefully she'll catch something. Or she'll be like with the bit when the possum leaves, the rats all come back. And she's just sitting there waiting and waiting. Good luck, kitty. I hope you catch something.